Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing another Shop My Sash video today. I have only ever done one recently and I decided to start doing it more and then I had someone request me to do a makeup look with an ABH palette and I said what better video to do than a shot my stash so if you're excited to see what older products I'll be using what look I come up with then go ahead and hit that subscribe button before we get into the video okay or hit it before you leave and we're gonna jump into the video. So I'm going to be going into, for my brows, The Big Ego by Tarte Cosmetics in black brown. This is pretty old and I only ever used it like once or twice, but the reason, also I don't know what this is. The reason I stopped is because it says it's black brown, but it's not, it's not as dark as I like it to be. My brows might look a little crazy if they're not matching, but I wanted to try to use something different because I always use the ABH stuff. And as always, anything I use will be down in the description box just because sometimes your girl is forgetful. Oh, it's thick. That's not terrible, but it's definitely, <laughs> what? It's thicker than I expected it to be. So maybe like a little lighter hand, if you will. Like it's thick, but it's really, really creamy. I will say that. So it just kind of like glides on like butter, but sometimes I do like it to be a little more stiff and thick, like not as spreadable because it makes it easier for me to really draw a line like paste, if that makes any sense. So I'm running into some slight issues that I'm going to try to fix. One, that product is extremely oily and I really, really wish I would have thrown it away. So once you kind of go over it, if you touch it, it lifts right up off of the brow. Now, thankfully, I have super dry skin. So for me, it's like, okay, it's not too bad being oily. But if you get oily brows or oil in that area, you're going to have a hard time dealing with a product like that. So now I'm going in with the ABH brow pen. This isn't new, but this is my favorite. I'm just kind of filling in where it kind of lacked luster, if you will. Now we're going to be doing a shot my stash slash declutter because this is going in the garbage because I can't get it to do what I want it to do. So the next thing I'm going to go into instead of my ABH powder like I always do this is the Urban Decay Double Down Brow Powder. If I'm not mistaken I kind of hated this one too. I don't know why I keep makeup that I don't like or don't use. I just do. Does anyone else do that? Oh my eyebrows look so greasy. So in case I don't think I showed you guys the inside. So you get a dark powder and then you get the light powder just like the ABH one but this brow powder is a little bit different. It's almost like clay like. It's really weird to describe but the reason I didn't like it is because it doesn't give me doesn't give me the best mattifying effect but I'm not hating it right now. All right so I had to hop off camera. That literally took me like 25 minutes and if you've been here before or you know me it literally takes me like 10 minutes to do my brows and I just feel so irritated they look like trash and I cannot this is the worst brow product I have ever purchased in my life I am throwing it out I'm pretty certain I said I was gonna throw it out in like a declutter or something I never did it's oily it breaks down if you go over it once it's laid it picks it up it was a mess so I went in without powder with the Urban Decay powder which I'm gonna wind up keeping because that one was okay and now I'm gonna go in with that same collection from Urban Decay the brow finish instead of my usual ABH clear brow gel. So I'm going with the Morphe eyelid primer in translucent defend your artistry I believe is what it's called if not it could be wrong and just place it all over my lid. This actually used to be like my go-to favorite eye primer because it is really amazing and it's only ten dollars so jot that down if you need a new eye primer this is the bomb you can get it at Ulta you can get it at Morphe etc I don't have a code or anything I'm just letting you guys know like honestly wholeheartedly it is a really good primer for a very inexpensive price so I was in between the ABH prism palette I know that the person who requested an ABH palette just said any ABH palette and I have a lot of them so it was hard for me to decide so I have this one but I think I'm gonna save this one for more towards October just because that's the vibe it gives me and then this was the second one and the reason I want to go into this one is because I really barely use this one 
and I think that the color potential is just really really there and gorgeous and I wanted to do like one last you know summery beautiful bold look so I'm gonna go into that one first color I'm going into is gonna be Kane's maybe I don't know this purple right here and I'm just gonna add it to the outer corner and up into the crease just packing it not actually blending it out yet I don't know why I stopped using ABH palettes because they are really pigmented palettes I only have the small Norvina ones just because I'm not gonna lie I kind of felt like the Norvina palettes were just all of these palettes combined and that's just my personal opinion I just am not, I didn't need a 60 pan palette when I had all of these. Do you know what I mean? So I only got mini ones of them just to see some colors. And honestly, I don't even use those. So if I don't use those, I probably wouldn't have used the big ones. And I'm just going to lightly blend this over to diffuse it just a bit right here. So the next color I'm going into is going to be Bahamas right here. This super gorgeous hot pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it right at the edge of that purple and start to buff the purple and the pink together, bringing that pink up almost to my brow bone. Slowly adding color so it doesn't get too... Um, harsh of a line like mm, you know what I mean and if the purple starts to fade into that pink it's gonna be fine because we can add that purple right back in you definitely want to go in slow and just make sure you have it diffused I would even go as far as saying have another brush that doesn't have that color or any product on it and kind of blend it out so you don't have super bold harsh lines all right, so now that I've done all of that beautiful blending, blending, and remember, this is going to be a little bit more bold. So that purple, even though I blended it out, it did start to fade and look really gradient, but I kind of wanted to have the, I want the purple to stand out like a really dark, smoky outer corner. So I went back in with my little packing brush and put some more in there. I'm now going to go in with Monte Carlo, which is this light color. And honestly, just blend in between. And the reason I'm doing that is just to give it a little softer transition. Not too soft because I do want that bold statement. But the color Monte Carlo is kind of like a mauve pink. So it has those purple undertones in it, giving it like a really nice blend. Okay, so what I've done here, um, I kind of did it off camera and then was like, oh shit. <laughs> is I cut the cut crease or the half cut crease that I'm doing to place the other color. So what I did was I put it on the bottom and I looked up and I cut it higher. If you look here, my crease is really here, but I had to cut it higher because I have loaded eyes. So in order for it to be seen and beautiful, I had to cut that. So I'm gonna cut this other one and then we're gonna go and put the color on there. So the easiest way to do the half cut crease or cut crease is to put it down and kind of look up and then wherever see where it goes that's where you want to place it so you know it's going to be seen and it's already going to touch there so you want to make sure it's clean cut so i'm going in with the ColourPop color stick from the powerpuff girls collection and i'm just gonna like lightly align this from my inner corner over to that purple but not bringing it all the way up and this is the bubbles one i think i don't remember what it was called and i'm literally just kind of putting this here because i'm gonna go over it with that blue eyeshadow that's also in this palette so the blue i'm putting down is this one i think it's called seashells but it's felt really weird but i'm pretty certain that you're supposed to pronounce it seashells and i'm just gonna go in there just a little it's a blue shimmer and I'm just going to pack it right over that cream but again just bring it to the end of the eye do not bring it over you don't want to do that not the look we're going for so the reason that I ultimately did the crayon first is because it will essentially grab any of that blue from falling out I don't need a bunch of blue glitter down here if you know what I mean so now I'm gonna go in with a blue eyeliner this eyeliner is so old this is the wet and wild and Fergie eyeliner when I tell you this is old believe me it is old and I'm just placing it on my waterline like that to close that blue off I'm gonna go back in with that 
the leftover that's on the purple and just kind of like seal any color gaps or any gap in between the purple and the blue i guess i could just bring the gold down i'm probably just gonna bring the gold down but i have to be really careful because that gold was really really powdery so i didn't know what color i was gonna go into for it oh this look is turning out so good so good all right we're gonna jump back to the face jump back to the face so i'm going in with my bronzer which is the morphe bronzer in mega star this was actually one of my first morphe bronzers and i really really liked it and it's huge i got this one and the other one which is like iconic something but that one was too light too dark i don't remember but i wound up giving it away okay so now that i have that place, we're gonna go into my blush and i decided to go into my old favorite the joy bouquet palette and i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna do marigold which is this one right here the blushes are so beautiful and pigmented and smooth and they just oh, so pretty but it is really pricey so the next thing we're going into is highlighter and this is another becca product i feel like a lot of my stuff was becca this is the rose quartz one i used to use these all of the time when i tell you all of this all of the time and then there were just so many other companies that i feel like brought us more Bro oh my god just kidding this is good oh that's too much but i do feel like they kind of with a lot of the other companies they just really lack luster where when they first came out it was oh my god highlighter you know what i mean but then it was like eh, there's so many other companies doing other things and they just i feel like i don't know they stuck to their waist but i did really enjoy their highlighters for a long time so I'm going to be going in with a setting spray before I do my eyelashes and this is the Rev Makeup Revolution or Revolution Makeup. It's the Hyaluronic Acid or Hyaluronic Fix. It's a hydrating and plumping makeup fixing spray. I actually received this in PR and I've used it a couple of times but not as much as I wish I did because as soon as you put this on all those powders like it looks wet but give it a minute it'll look so good and i go with this one twice because i have very dry skin so i'm gonna let it dry for a minute while i do my lips and i'm in between i'm in between i think i'm gonna go pink so this is huh, it's not that old actually this is the lunar beauty daydream but it literally is my favorite liquid lipstick and i just was like oh i haven't worn this in a while so we're gonna put her on oh just gorgeous and if you guys have not seen my kylie cosmetics comparison video of her liquid lipsticks new versus old go check that out i'll put it here for you but you have to see that i'm gonna spray this one more time and then i'm gonna go and put my lashes on real quick and then i'll be right back for you beautiful people all right lovelies that is it for this shop my stash makeup look makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoyed the fact that you guys had asked me to use a specific palette because it really gets me to dig back into the makeup i already have you already have and gets you really just your creative juices flowing with the stuff you already have i just think as a whole with the beauty community we are always buying by Buying, buying the next best thing the newest things and I just like I can't believe I stopped using this palette like I think I use this palette a handful of times and I really just wish that I would have stuck with using it because it really just is all of that like my hair is not but the palette is so i'm really glad that that was requested if you have a specific eyeshadow palette that you want to see me use create a look with that you already own go ahead and comment down below and let me know i will definitely get it up for you as soon as i can hopefully this one got up as soon as i could get it up but i'm just like i'm so glad that i did a shot my stash like i love these and i think i'm going to start doing a lot more of these if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up before you go let me know down in the comments do you like these like old makeup situation videos using makeup you already own and makeup tutorial wise so let me know what you guys think about this look do we love it it's a last summer thing because fall is coming which is my favorite but 
you know, I had to do, had to do a little summer vibes. But that is all, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!